In cases where the carriage cannot be automatically retracted from the furnace, such as a motor overload or power failure, the carriage has to be withdrawn by using the emergency retract shaft located above the sprocket on the back of the gearbox. To perform this, a 5 8 inch deep well socket and an air ratchet or electric drill is required. You can also use the BE4800 retract tool to retract the carriage if needed. Do not use an impact wrench. Warning: This should only be done when all other efforts and attempts have been unable to retract the carriage. The recommended method to retract the carriage is by using the specially designed emergency retract tool. Any alternate methods should only be used if the plant does not have the tool. When beginning to perform the lance retraction, first, isolate the electricity to the electrical cabinet. When using the emergency retract tool, first, mount the pins in the gearbox, slide the retract tool onto the pins, and use the remote trigger to actuate the retract tool. While keeping the blowing medium supply on, retract the carriage and lance out the boiler using the emergency retract shaft. A safe location to turn off the steam is past the poppet valve operating mechanism. If more force is needed to retract the carriage, the blowing medium supply may need to be throttled down to reduce the resistance pressure. Keep in mind that the blowing medium keeps the lance cool and shutting off the blowing medium supply will increase the risk of bending the lance. If the gearbox is inoperable, a chain fall or come along is required to retract the carriage. Only use this technique if the gearbox is broken as the gearbox will be ruined once fully retracted. Two one-and-a-half ton come-alongs is the minimum force required to retract the carriage. One come-along on each side of the carriage. If the lance is already bent and obstructing the retraction process, disconnect the rotation chain to pull the lance and carriage out of the boiler without lance rotation.